Hi, I'm Kent Ireton. I'm with the Idaho Division of Vocational Rehabilitation, sometimes known as Voc Rehab. So I'm here to introduce myself and our program so that you as a parent can know a little something about what we have to offer for your, uh, your student, your son or daughter, who uh, will be likely moving from middle school to high school. So uh, we have a program that helps uh, students as young as 14 years of age to help develop skills and interest in careers and move toward post-secondary education goals. So every year we offer a summer work experience that's done through a contractor, um, and that's this year it is RISE. Um, and we take anywhere from 10 to 20 students and we place them in jobs throughout the community. Uh, we also have other options for summer employment that's done more on an individualized basis that you'll need to contact us on that. Yes, many of our students have a need to have some job coaching or mentoring to help them to learn the basic skills of being a good employee um, and having good work ethic and good work conduct. We do some training before they actually go to work and then we have job coaches on site to help them with training and adjustment to the job. And then as the student becomes more independent, we fade. So our eligibility for our program is 14, and coincidentally, that's also the uh, age for employment. So as young as 14, and uh, they're eligible to work uh, within certain per parameters, and they can be in the summer work program. We have summer work um, programs as well as uh, work programs through the school year, often in conjunction with the school itself. So we have employment opportunities, uh, at least in Twin Falls School District, at both Twin Falls High School and Canyon Ridge High School. There are also um, work opportunities that we can do outside of the school. So in order to participate in the school-based uh, work experience, the, uh, the student needs to be enrolled with vocational rehabilitation. And then also they would need to go through the paperwork uh, to become an employee of the Twin Falls School District. So with the school-based work experience, uh, they follow the Twin Falls School District pay schedule, which is a once-a-month once um, payment. Uh, so they will work a full month before they receive their first check. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the student can list these jobs as a real job because it is, in fact, a real job. They are... Um, employees of the Twin Falls School District and they're held accountable for their work so they'll have references and dates and certain skills and duties that they can list on a resume. Yeah so what happens sometimes is that the student will do such a great job during the summer work experience that the employer will say we would love to have you um, on our regular crew and they're offered a job. So that's really up to the student and the parents to decide if they can um, coordinate that with the student's other uh, school and, and home responsibilities. Yes, we have another work experience outside of the contract summer work program that we talked about and the school work program we talked about. We have a program that's an individualized uh, work-based learning experience that is 150 hours. With that program, we can really um, work with any employer who is willing to cooperate with us in the community and in that program, we reimburse that employer for 150 hours of the student's wages. So, so they're essentially getting um, 
no cost help for 150 hours. And most employers are really happy to take on a student under those type of situations. So that's a very successful program, but it does require some individual coordination with employers. So many students do require more support um, than the individualized 150-hour um, program that we talked about, where they will need a job coach or job mentor to help them um, on a more frequent basis. So in that situation, we have a number of contractors, we call them community rehabilitation programs. Um, in that situation, the student becomes an employee of that program and we have 60 hours in which they can work under that program and they're loaned out to an employer in the community, but they do have job coach support for as much as needed during that 60 hours. So there's numerous other programs that happen throughout the year um, that a student who's working with Voc Rehab would be eligible for. One that I might mention is uh, Work of Art, which is a paid uh, art internship that uh, oftentimes can be done virtually. And we have that program. We also have campus um, experiences with Idaho State University, University of Idaho, and Boise State University, where students are allowed to come on campus and get a sample of what it would be like to be a student on campus. I might also mention that we have other events that we do often in coordination with College of Southern Idaho. Uh, we have a program called Launch Your Future, which gives the students a taste of what it might be like to be a student at CSI. And we have an event called Reality Town, which is kind of an adult financial literacy experience, which allows the students to kind of experience what it means to be responsible for a paycheck and for all those life expenses that we all have. Um, we also have a program called Work Readiness Training, where we have contractors who are able to go out to the schools and provide an educational curriculum to teach students how to prepare to be a good employee. So one of the uh, most important things I think that we do is to do information and referral. So oftentimes parents and students, as they're preparing to exit the, the school system, there's a, a broader range of services and supports that might be of interest. Um, Idaho Department of Labor is one of our chief um, partners in the community. They can help with training and they can help with employment, resumes, interview skills, those kind of things. Uh, we also work very closely with Idaho Department of Health and Welfare and their developmental disability waiver system. We can make referrals to that program, which offers a, a vast array of services and supports um, to adults as well as children with developmental disabilities. So I would really say that uh, the possibilities are limitless. Um, and we have the ability to negotiate or discuss with uh, any employer in the community, but we have developed some good partnerships with certain employers. Among those would be um, businesses like Albertsons, uh, Grocery Outlet, Pizza Pie, um, the, uh, the Cinema, uh, just to mention a few, but uh, certainly we also have very good luck with smaller employers who sometimes are better able to accommodate and adjust to uh, an individual's uh, needs. Yes, every fall we get together with uh, parents and students as well as teachers and administrators with the Twin Falls School District to talk about the school-based uh, work experience. And at that time, we can gather a lot of the paperwork um, that will need to be done uh, for the experience. All right, so we really have um, two levels of services for students with disabilities. Um, one is our, what we call pre-employment transition program, and that's most of what I've been talking about today. 
but there's also the adult traditional vocational rehabilitation. There's really no time limit to that, but we do like to move students from the pre-employment program, which, which is really geared toward high school students, into the adult transition program, or the adult program, I should say, uh, when they're close to graduation or exiting high school so that they're more geared toward direct employment or for their education. All right, well, soft skills are critically important um, in the job seeking process as well as the job keeping process. And so we really have to rely on um, a whole circle of professionals to help with that. Uh, one would be the uh, teachers uh, in the school oftentimes work on those soft skills. We also have paraprofessionals who are great help in developing those skills and our job coaches really focus on those skills that are, again, so critical. Um, some of those really basic skills that sometimes we need reminders to do are things like to smile and to offer a greeting when you're meeting with a customer or a supervisor or a coworker. Um, also accepting or learning how to accept uh, feedback from an employer and not become defensive. Um, and and offer some um, some encouragement to be positive and uh, have pride in your work. Um, also ask uh, for help when you need it, and that's difficult for some students uh, to learn that skill. Um, also, um, not bringing in personal issues to the uh, to the workplace. So if you have a bad day at home or at school leaving that there and not bringing it into the workplace. And then uh, also one thing, especially with the newer generation, is learning um, when and how to uh, put that uh, cell phone away or other devices, not texting, not FaceTiming, not taking selfies um, at work and that sort of thing. Believe it or not, we have to discuss those things. Great. Well, that's that's a great question. So I would say probably your one of your best resources is your special ed teacher. They're all very well connected to us, and they know how to access our, our program. They have the forms that you need and so forth. But also you can uh, contact us through our website, which is www.vr.idaho.gov. Uh, you can contact me um, by email or phone. My email is kent.ireton, I-R-E-T-O-N, at vr.idaho.gov. Or our phone number is 208-736-2156. We're located in the Twin Falls County West Building at 650 Addison Avenue West, Suite 102. Love to have you just stop by if you have any questions or give us a call at any time. Check our website out. Um, we'd be happy to answer any questions you have.